we're going to talk about the anatomy of the cervical spine or the neck. The neck is relatively simple. This is the front and of course this is the back of the neck. This bone happens to be missing on the model but probably intact in your neck. The cervical spine is essentially a series of vertebra separated in the front by the disc. The disc is the shock absorber. It allows impact and it al absorbs shock and it allows motion. In the back of the spine we have these paired joints. These joints guide the motion of the spine forward and backward and side to side. In the center of the spine is the spinal cord living in that bony tunnel and at each level in between the vertebra a nerve exits and either runs down your shoulder and arms or runs up the back of your head. And these of course innervate or go to the muscles and the skin and give you sensation, give you position sense and also give you motor strength. This is a close-up of a model of the cervical spine and it demonstrates the nerve hole that the nerve exits out of. You'll see that when you bend backward that nerve hole actually gets smaller and when you bend forward that nerve hole gets larger. That's important if you have either a bone spur or a disc herniation. You won't want to bring your neck back because that'll hurt your neck, shoulder and arm. You'll want to keep your head a little bit forward. It also works with lateral bending. If you bend away from that side the nerve hole opens up and if you bend toward that side the nerve hole gets smaller. So lateral bending to the side will cause more pain. Lateral bending away from that side will cause less pain. Another important aspect of the cervical spine is the spinal canal itself where the spinal cord lives. This canal changes in shape with bending forward and backward and if you'll see when you bend forward the spinal canal actually enlarges by about 30 percent and when you bend backward the spinal canal narrows. This is important if the spinal canal is crowded by a disc herniation or by a bone spur. If you happen to have a blow to the head driving the head backward that can cause compression of the spinal cord and an injury. Conversely, bending forward tends to open the canal and relieve the pressure on the spinal cord.